Here I am in another temporary studio. This is how I live. I guess I'm a vagabond now, but I still get artwork done. If you look at my record, I have won international awards. You don't need a huge studio. You don't need rooms full of art supplies. You start with some basics, have a little backup, and take your inspiration and let it take you wherever it will. For the last five days, I've been in emotional turmoil because of the situation in Western North Carolina and the floods there that have decimated the area and more. I've been trying to coordinate to help people out, those on the ground and those that have needs and the people from away. Anyway, I need a break. I need art. I need art in my life. I need it to help me process what I'm going through. Last year, I used my art to process my passing of my mother when she died, and it healed me a lot. Now I have the same feeling that I want to use art to help me work through, as I know many other people help them work through situations in their lives. I have some paper ready. I'm not going to use the easel. I'm going down on the table because I want to be free to just throw things if I have to. So I have no idea what's coming out. I'm not even sure what image I'm going to be using, but I need to do a couple paintings like this. This may inspire you. I'm not sure. I hope it helps me. The first thing I'm going to do is go through some images to see what might speak to me right now. Just skimming my images on my iPad. I don't even know if I want to go with positive, light and bright things, or something more dramatic and intense. Wow, I'm looking through this and I realize I haven't even got my latest Monhegan um, paintings on here. I'm looking at my little tree painting. This is interesting. I don't know why, this just jumped out at me. I thought I was done with this little tree, but maybe this is the image I want to work with today. The Not so much the tree here, but the fence. The fence and the grayness and just this whole... Okay, I'm just going to kind of let it flow if I can, and we'll see what happens. This is obviously a vertical painting. That white paper was just for light balance in my camera. And I've lost all my sunlight. Okay. Okay, probably a good image to start with, something that's fairly familiar to me. I'm going to start with my um, pan pastels, lay in a good area of color, and just maybe stop talking and just let this happen. Now I'm thinking I should use a different color paper, but I'm just going to paint.
now to let the painting take on its own character and not worry so much about the photograph. Now I'm going to let it dry and, and come back with when it's dry. So it's dry now and as I'm looking at this I was going to put the fence in but I kind of like it the way it is. I really do. Should I add some more lights on the tree? couple more details down here. Define the houses slightly more. Usually when my instinct tells me it's good, I end up playing with it and messing it up. I don't think I want to do that this time. But then part of me wants to. Maybe, hmm. here's a thought to do before you mess it up. Grab something, boo, not that. Get a color that you think might work. Like maybe just a little bit lighter in there. Just a hint lighter. but not on the yellow side, a little more on the blue-green side, like that. Nope, I don't like that. Luckily, by holding it there, I can think about it without doing it. Just a glaze of this here and there. I 
I'm not sure how that dot right there got into it. But I don't think I can lift it without messing everything up. Let me see if I have a clean rag. Just a touch. One touch at a time and look each time in between to make sure it's still okay. There's some granules that just fell down. I'm just pressing them into the paper. A little hint more definition in the houses. They're not even houses, they're just shapes, but maybe a little bit more here. Enough. And I'd like to do a touch for windows, but I don't want too much of a touch. So I'm just going to use my paper stump to scrape very gently some windows and eaves. Alright, step back from the painting. You do too much, it's going to mess it up. I think this is too dark for down here. Brush up a touch of that, just barely touch it to lift some. I'm going to put this aside and check it out later on. See what I think in about tomorrow. 